Welcome to my allotment diary for the second week of March 2018, based in East Sussex. What a strange week for weather we've experienced. Monday was torrential rain, and then the rest of the week was early rain, clearing to spring-like sunshine, then back to rain Morning. overnight. Till the weekend, when winter returned in the form of the Mini Beast from the East. Having settled into a new routine with the polytunnel, such as checking for water or seed appearance, it was clear in providing continuity sowings, more room for seed trays is a requirement. What shall we sow today? Let's try some lettuce. There we go. There's some webs wonderful. That'll do fine. While I have the opportunity, let's get started on making a temporary slatted shelf. The distance from the end of the poly to the potting bench is six feet, therefore four lengths of the cheapest tiling button in the timber yard of four lengths 14 foot long will suffice, coming to just six pounds, plus one packet of aluminium straight coat pegs, and there are 10 pegs in a packet, and the packet sells at £2.46. Therefore a total of £8.46, which I don't consider is too bad for a temporary bench shelf. Across the pond they call a timber yard a lumber yard. Lumber meaning the back. Lumberjacks, who, presume, who I presume traditionally have a bad back or live out back, shout timber, not lumber. I rest my case. Two foot short ends left from cutting the six foot battens makes adequate cross battens and with the end cut at 45 degrees and the coat hanger attached fits snugly over the horizontal member of the polytunnel. Two more of these battens are made, one fixed at the other end in exactly the same way, the th same way and the third will be fixed in the centre to take out the bow in the battens, giving me a level surface. A temporary leg is cramped to the button to give support and level the centre of the shelf. We can now screw all the buttons to the cross buttons, starting in the centre, spacing them equally with a racket eye. Using a spare pallet button as a diagonal brace, the centre button can now be sewn off and the jobs are good. All that remains now is to load the poly with seed trays from home. And here lies a problem. Coinciding with this installation of a seed tray bench, we in the UK are viewing news reports on microplastics being found in the River Mersey, which is being named as the most polluted river in the UK with microplastics. And 
microplastics are now within the contents of bottled water. The weather during constructing this project is brilliant. The temperature in the poly is definitely shirt sleeves. Look at the strawberry bear root plants. New growth is now appearing. I need to take advantage of this good weather, especially with the forecast of the beast from the east returning at the weekend. So my efforts are concentrating on pe preparing another no dig bed. Starting with clearing the canes and weeding the bed. Though I'm told I should have left the weeds there. The reason I cleared them was that the soil level is a little bit high. So one of the jobs I must do is reduce it down. And I'm short of soil in the parsnip bed. So I'm clearing away the soil here, reducing down the level to about three inches and then moving it onto the parsnip bed. On with the layer of cardboard. Which though already wet, I uh, give it another good soaking. This raised bed took three bags to give me the required three inch level of compost. There we are, it's all finished. I should really cover it with fleece, but I've only got enough fleece to cover the broad bean bed, which I duly covered over, and I'm now ready for the storm from the east, which came with a vengeance. I inspected the polytunnel on the following day, and she'd survived pretty well. Snow backed up there on the corners, but what was good was that seeds are now appearing. These are the spring onions. These are the greyhound cabbage. Nothing coming from the leeks. Here is the beetroot. And the potatoes are dead rotten. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And a thumbs up would be nice. If you're not already done so, please subscribe and comment please, especially on the recycling. Bye.